Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome to Tales from the Night Cafe. You play as a bartender, and you're listening to all these stories from the people who come into your bar. And I think it's a, a, a horror game. Without further ado, let's hop right into this shit! Hey, got that nice relaxing ambiance in here. All right, who do we want to talk to first? We got man eating salad, woman eating cake, man drinking coffee. Ladies first. I heard a story about Valentine's Day. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. I mean, we're not, we're past Valentine's Day now, but sure, tell me. The story takes place on the night of St. Valentine, the shop's busiest night of the year. Why is that? Wrapping paper. Door. Door. Romantic books. Books on love. Erotic books. Ooh, I want to read those. Man. Hang on. I'm looking at all my options. Give, uh, un segundo. Sign. Mixed flowers. Fragrant flowers. There's a lot of options to look at. I don't need these right now. 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 Dear customers, when customers come in, be polite if... Oh, sorry. Customers. This is like rules. All right, whatever. I don't know why I thought it said dear. If they ask for flowers, get them from the bucket to the left and wrap them in paper. If they ask for a book, fetch it from the bookshelf to the right. They ask for chocolates, knock on the door to the right. Staff are not permitted to enter the door at any time. Why? Good evening. I would like some flowers. They're for my wife. She loves red roses. All right, I got you. Red roses. And then we wrap them in paper. I need to place fl Oh, I need to place flowers here. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> this is such an easy job. Ah, easier than being a uh, being a doorman for a fucking apartment complex. Hello. Um, I'm looking for a book. Uh, on love. <laughs> I I'm looking for a book on love. Man, if you don't go to the bookshelf and look yourself, books on love. I just gave it to her. Thank you. That's like going to that's like going to a CVS or a Rite Aid and asking where the condoms are and then being shy about it. You're a grown ass woman. Just ask for the fucking book. <laughs> I'm not inconsiderate. I swear. I placed an order for chocolate. Chocolate. Boo 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 boo. Chocolate. Boo 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 boo. Here you go. Here you go. Thank you. I don't need to, I need to place flowers here. You look like you just came from Elden Ring. Hi, I'm here to pick up some flowers. Something colorful and exotic. And some chocolates. Exotic butters. Uh, fragrant, mixed, exotic flowers. Good thing I'm not on a time limit or anything. Boo, 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 boo. Chocolate! Boo, 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 boo. Chocolate! Here you go! Thank you! Thank you! Get out of here! So, is this supposed to take like a dark turn or is this it? Is this my game? This is the whole thing? You! Do you know what kind of establishment this is? Do you? Do you know who you're working for? This is wrong! You must leave this job at once! Ah! I have to go! What the fuck? Okay, I guess that answers my question. We might be taking a dark turn. Are you related to Lady Demetresque by chance? You look like one of her daughters. You look like you... You look like you have some kind of relation to the Big Booba Vampire Lady. 
Fetch me some blue orchids and a book of erotica. I don't have all day. Please? Please? Can you say please? Damn. There's your book. There's your flowers. Go jerk off and sniff the roses. Piece of shit. <laughs> please don't take my blood. Chocolate. Ch chocolate. Did you say chocolate? Chocolate? Chocolate! Chocolate! Here you go. Eh, eh, eh. You know, I don't judge. There's no judgment here. This is a judgment free zone. We sell flowers to all people of all walks of life. I have to step out for a minute. Mind the shop while I'm gone. If anyone asks for chocolates, tell them I'll be back and to wait or they can come back later. Oh, so you're like, you're the store owner and I'm just the employee. What does that say? If they ask for chocolate, knock on the door. Staff are not, okay, so yeah, staff are not allowed. So what happens if I do? The door is unlocked. She never leaves it unlocked. Go down into the workshop. Why not? It'll spice up my day. Spruce it up a bit. Shall I continue? Yes! Stop being such a puss puss. Go down the stairs. We're gonna find out that she makes chocolates out of like her shit or something. Book. Peony, used for numbing potions. Or used for numbing potions. Blue orchid, used for potions of mind control. Passion flower, an exotic flower used for inducing nerve pain. Rose, used for memory loss potions. Wildflowers, a particular flower that grows in the wild. Closes airways when brewed in a tea. Azalea, dried and used to include, induce hallucinations. Pink doll, dahlia, dahlia, pink dahlia. That looks like a W, but I think that's an L-I. Pink dahlia, careful sudden death when ingested in potion. Coated fragrant flowers in something special. Prepare the poison chocolates. What are the customers doing with the flowers and chocolates? Is that all I came down here for? Give me more. Cage. Nicholas Cage. Oh God! What is that? We are spending too much time down here. I thought I told you not to come down here. Get in the cage! How does this relate at all to the woman eating the cake? Okay. Um. You look like an interesting guy, Blondie. I've got a Christmas story you might find interesting. Wanna hear it? Sure. I guess. Fascinating. It's the eve of Christmas and the train is rapidly approaching the station. Arthur Marlowe is on the train, but nowhere to be found. Oh, is this a Let's Find Larry situation? I don't want to have to find any more Larrys. Watch. Not long now. I have some photos to take. My train ticket. It's not time yet. Okay. Compartment 8, Compartment 7, uh, Compartment 8. Oh, that's where I just came from. <laughs> ask about him, ask about Arthur Marlowe. I really prefer to just read my paper. The man complaining about his bag? Wearing a blue suit? Not sure where he is right now. I love riding the trains. I'd live on one if I could. As this time of year, at this time of year with the snow, it's magical. Yeah, 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 enough about you. <laughs> oh, what a cute name. I haven't talked to anyone called Arthur on the train. You guys are useless to me. Hello, pretty lady. My sister will be waiting for me at the station. I'm so excited. Don't recognize the name. A man just bumped into me, though. His glasses nearly fell off and almost knocked me over. Didn't even apologize. 
What a bitch. I'll take care of you, baby girl. I'm heading home. I like to spend a week before Christmas with my family. But the actual day I love to spend alone. Why? Marlo? The fidgety man from Cabin 5? Probably pestering the staff about something. I hate Christmas. I bet everyone here is going to visit family. Are you upset because you don't have family? It's okay, I'll be your family. Never heard of them. Uh, I can't do anything with the hat. Okay! Onward we go. Ooh! Ooh! I've been on a work trip. Nothing special. Headed home. I know many people named Arthur. None on this train. Me? I'm headed back home with my husband. Why'd you pause? Arthur Marlowe, you say? Hmm. You know, I'm pretty thirsty. Maybe you could get me a tr What? Get your husband to do it. Is this your man? Yo, is this your lady? I'm on my way to visit family for the holidays. I moved to the city for work. Most of them live in the countryside. Arthur Marlowe? There's a Mr. Marlowe in compartment 5. I overheard him complaining about his bag. Not sure what happened to it. Ask for a glass of wine. Right away, sir. Oh, I got it. Thanks, sweetheart. You have a husband. Don't do that. I thought I heard a woman on the platform say goodbye to an Arthur just before we got on the train. He was wearing a hat, but I could see a lovely shade of copper hair poking out. That's it? That's all you had to say? I spent my money on a drink and just... I only, I'm only here to serve drinks. You're not going to tell me anything about an Arthur Marlowe? Okay, so this is compartment five. There's his hat, but like, where the hell is the guy? Oh, oh, Arthur Marlowe, you're my guy. I need to get the present. Oh, what? Ugh. Okay, I guess it's time. It's time to do the thing. It's time. <laughs> wow, okay. All right. Uh How do you how do you know this story? Are you the guy? Are you you're the guy, aren't you? How do you know that story? I need to go back in and see if there's anything I can do besides. I'll get to that later. I have a Halloween story to tell you. Would you like to hear it? Hell yeah. Let's hear all about that Halloween story. The story starts in a quaint little cottage on Halloween night. Hallway. Window. Bed costume hallway. As much as I would rather sleep, I have a party to go to. Hey, we about to get down and dirty at the party? Lock window? Yes. Yes. It's already locked, this window. Yeah, they shouldn't be unlocked in the first place. I don't know why people decide to leave their windows unlocked. Lock window. I've already locked this window. Bathroom, downstairs, bedroom, bathroom. Close that, lock that. We don't need anybody getting in here. I've already been through this. Oh, damn, shawty. My costume is a little last minute, but it'll do. Last minute, more like underdone. <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. I'm sorry. Lock that window. See, they're trying to get me. They're trying to get me by hiding all the windows that I can lock. Upstairs. Office, entryway. Why do you have so many windows? Uh, lock door. Phone. I don't need to call anyone right now. Computer? From Mary to Sal. Subject, sorry. <laughs> I can't believe they fired you just like that. I know you don't want to tell anyone, but they will understand. Plus, you need someone to talk to in person. Enjoy the party tonight. But maybe talk about it tomorrow with Lucy or someone. You can always come to me and see me. You can always come and see me. You can use a holiday. 
Uh, I'm happy to pay for the ticket. What if I don't want you to pay for the ticket? What if I don't need hand me out him handouts? Lock that window. You have way too many windows in your home. Way too many doors and windows for my comfort. I don't understand why they were all unlocked in the first place, actually. Okay, I think I've locked all the windows. If not, we die. Lock the door. That's smart. That's smart. That's good. Front garden. Uh, all right, let's get it. Let's go to this party. <laughs> Nothing can happen to me now. Oh, why am I not driving? <clears throat> Sorry about my friend. Just ignore him. He's drunk. Hey, the nice costume. You're looking so hot. I'm not interested, buddy. Whatever. You're not even that hot. Definitely not interested. Yeah! This is what I'm talking about. A note is taped here. It says, use the bathroom through the kitchen. Got it. Uh, I shouldn't be in the garage. Definitely shouldn't be in here. But there's a saw here, so if I need to kill somebody, that's what I'd use. Oh, look at all these crazy people. Boo! Ha! Did I make you jump? Yeah, good one. Excellent. Demon. Can't you see I'm talking to someone? I don't need to be rude. Whatever. Hello, human. Hello, alien. I come in peace, unless you want to be probed. Why are people so weird? <laughs> Do I see friends' eyes through that mask? Do I see my friends' eyes? You sure do. You can't fool me. Howdy. Dead cowboy? I wanted to be a cowboy, but I wasn't scary enough. You don't need to be scary at a Halloween party. Oh, a fellow skeleton. Enjoying the party? I only just got here. The night is young. Plenty of time to enjoy yourself. Absolutely right. Ugh. Skeleton noises. What the fuck? Do I make the noises from Minecraft? Do I go... Nice costume. Thanks, you too. Oh, thanks. So there's some normal... There's some nice people here. I'm just watching the room. For something in particular? Odd behavior. Are you okay? For now. Don't like that. Robot. Hello. How are you? Nice costume. You look great. Thanks. This costume is left over from a convention I went to. Oh, she's not doing the thing anymore. Uh, didn't, didn't want it to go to waste. That's fair. Everyone thinks I'm some kind of superhero. I'm a witch. You don't look like it. <laughs> you don't look like a witch. Ah, whatever then. I hope I locked all the windows and doors. Feeling paranoid? Better to be safe than sorry. Oh, I know. You okay? Why do you ask? You have that look on your face. You want to talk? Sure. I just lost my job. We all make mistakes. Some drinks are laid out on the counter. Take a bottle? Maybe I need that for somebody. Okay. Oh, those guys are gone. Those dudes are gone. Okay. I prefer drinking alone. Here you go. Perfect. Here, take this. I have a spare. What the hell do I do with that? Do I give it to the other clown? There. Take that. 
No. Okay. So what? Do I just walk home? Is that it? I should stay a while before heading home. Why? Do what? What am I doing? Stay a while and do what? Oh, there's a dining room. I didn't even see this. Don't get too close. I might eat your brains. Pizza might be better. You might be right. <laughs> I put so much effort into my costume and no one knows what I am. You're a ghost? Yes, a ghost dog. Finally, someone gets it. Would have never guessed that. I'm a fucking pirate. Are you drunk? It's because I'm a fucking pirate. Victorian woman. I know my costume's not scary, but I like it. I like it. You don't have to dress up scary to go to a Halloween party. You dress up in a costume, just don't come as yourself. Unless you think you're scary, I don't. I'm not really in the mood for this party. Why'd you come? Thought it would take my mind off things. Valid. Oh, hey, how's it going? Not bad, you? Much better now. Can I get you a drink? I'll get you a drink. You don't have to, unless you're getting one anyway. Thanks. Okay, uh, I'll be back with that drink. Here you go, drink responsibly. You got me a beer? Thanks. So what happens if we let him get us a drink? Wait, here. Pretend to drink. Enjoy. Okay. So can I go home now? Sure. Hey, hey, hey! I saw that. Nobody should be in my home. I'm just, just stating that now. Nobody should be in my house. I feel like I dropped something. Oh well. Yeah, no, I dropped the I dropped the clown the the honk honk. Sure. What is that sound? No. Uh, I want to know what the sound is first. Uh, kitchen. Office. Mm, definitely not that. Definitely not that. Oh! Oh, I was supposed to call the police. Damn it, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I was supposed to call the police. Ah! Ah! All right, I'll be right back. All right, let's try to go to bed. That time. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I'm calling the cops! 911, what's your emergency? There's literally a guy banging on my door right now! Nobody answered. What the fuck? Bro, nobody answered. That shit was ass. Okay, uh, I want to go back into this one and see what happens if we just don't go in the basement. So she's gonna leave the store and then so are more customers gonna show up while she's gone 
Or do I have to go down the stairs? I think I have to go down the stairs. Yeah, I have to go down the stairs. Nobody's going to show up if I don't. Or I guess nothing's going to progress if I don't. Okay, so I decided to turn back instead, and it, I, it won't let me go back down there now. Scared woman. Hide that letter. Read it when you leave. Please! If I read it now. Okay. Interesting. I'm back now. Something has come up. I'm shutting the shop down a little early tonight. You can go now. Please listen to me. Your life is in danger. If you keep working at that shop, that woman you work for is evil. If you don't believe me, check her workshop. No, I believe you. Fullheartedly believe you. Okay. So that was a different ending. So then it makes me wonder if there's a way that I can get a different ending for this guy. Alright, well. Uh, there was no extra ending for that at all. The only thing you had to do was shoot the guy. This was very interesting. I actually enjoyed a lot of this. It was, it was very uh, engaging. Tales of the Night Cafe Seasons. This is called Tales of the Night Cafe Seasons. So I don't know if there's plans for another type of like Tales of the Night Cafe where it's like colors. I don't know. Cause they were all season themed. Like one guy had a Halloween story. This girl had the Valentine story. This guy had a Christmas story. So I don't know if there's going to be like a seasons two or if there's going to be like colors. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I enjoyed this one. I had a good time with this. It was definitely not what I expected because uh, I couldn't find any information about it on itch.io. I tried typing up the name of the game and it wasn't showing up for some reason. So I don't know if it's been taken down, but either way, I enjoyed it. If you want to see my last video, which was a three scary games video, that'll be linked somewhere around here. I'll let YouTube decide whatever you guys are watching next. Uh, that'll also be linked somewhere around here as well. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And... Big buddy out! Y'all know I'm a good P and stop playing.